Hey, Jordan Brand, um, just released the Black Toes, okay? Thanks. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Satin Black Toe. Before we do that, let's do us a quick favor, hit the subscribe button and we'll get going. So like we said, this is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG inspired by the original Black Toe colorway. It's pretty much the same, but of course there are some key differences that we'll touch on. Before we do that, let's just go over the basics. The release date is August 17th, 2019. The retail price is $160. As you can see, it comes with your classic Nike shoebox. And since this is a women's release, if you're trying to cop these in your mail, you gotta go one and a half sizes up. For example, if you wear a men's size 10, you need a size 11 and a half. So that's pretty much it. Now let's get right into the shoe. If you're familiar with original Air Jordan 1 colorways, this one doesn't really need any introduction. It is called the Black Toe, known for the Black Toe box with the white. Even though these are an OG colorway, you know these don't really quite get as much attention as either the Band colorway or even the Chicago's because Michael Jordan didn't really wear these in NBA games. There's actually very, very few occasions in which he was actually spotted in the Black Toes. Considering the prices of the retros that are going out right now, the Black Toes are pretty up there. They rival the, the Chicago pair. Right now, if you wanna buy a pair of the, the most recent retro, it's probably around like six to $700. But the truth is, you know, we'd like for them to come back, you know, when we're time and you know there's a good chance that might happen because as you guys know this Black Friday Jordan brand is going to introduce a new style of the Air Jordan 1 called the Air Jordan 1 High 85 that's supposed to be even closer to the original and although there are no photos out there right now we do know that the band colorway is dropping on Black Friday we know that Chicago version is dropping during All-Star Weekend in 2020 which also takes place in Chicago so it only makes sense that maybe the black toe or even the royals or even the other original colorways uh, that existed in 1985 will probably return in the Jordan 1 High 85 styles. Let's go back to these. You know, it's a great colorway, like we said, one of the originals, but for women, Jordan Brand did a few minor changes to the shoe, most notably is the heel. So, you know, while they're called satin, it's not exactly an authentic satin material. It's kind of has this sort of shiny sort of finish to it. It's like a sateen, like a mock satin, I guess you could say. And that material is spotted on the heel as well as the ankle collar. And even just with this lighting, you could just tell that it has this almost like a matte metallic sort of effect really. Although it, when you look at it, it's just a fabric. And of course the Air Jordan Wings logo isn't stamped on. It's actually a plate that's elevated on the actual collar. That's a detail that's only been on most women's Air Jordan 1 releases, some of the Pinnacle releases, but in terms of recent drops, it's been on the women's exclusives. But the rest of the shoe, it's smooth leather. The swoosh and all the other black panels, you know, the, the lace collar, even the padded ankle has that same like micro tumbled sort of look to it while the white toe box as well as the midfoot again has that same micro tumble texture to it you know got the classic mesh which is a nice touch it has the classic nike air tongue logo the outsole is a nice classic varsity red you really can't go wrong that's pretty much it you know it's a very straightforward shoe and jordan brand has taken a lot of efforts to include a lot of women's exclusives into their product line so they're speaking directly to the women consumer but these for a fact will be chased after by the dudes. So again, if you're trying to cop, you gotta go one and a half sizes up. If you're size nine, you need a 10 and a half. If you're size 11 and a half, you need a 13. Again, satin black toes dropping August 17th. Possibility of an actual black toe retro coming in 2020. We don't know that for sure, but it seems very, very likely. Let us know in the comments if you think the black toes should come back. Of course, make sure you like this video and we'll catch you in the next one.